So we're at Grove Street in Newport. Start in the basement, as I always do. So this is a three-story barn. We've got a lot of sheetrock down here, metal beam. We've got the heating system down here, oil tank, hot air heat for uh, the apartment that used to be above this. There was a fire in that apartment. The owner decided not to rebuild that apartment. It has been gutted. So that has been done. But this is a huge space down here. Um, and like I said, three stories, concrete, and the barn is above it. And we will continue on. Follow our gentleman with the light. <laughs> the property manager is taking us around so that we can see everything with the light because the power was turned off in this area too. So sheetrock, you've got plumbing, all kinds of good stuff going on. You've got an electric panel for, is this for the, the whole barn? barn? Yes. Okay, so this is the electric panel for the barn with all the electric. That's a 200 amp service. And there's your sewer line going out to the street. Grove oh. Street is town water and town sewer. Yeah, that should be unlucky for going out. Okay. So we're in the, in the apartment. So that's looking out to Grove Street. We've got here nothing that's locked. No. Oh, well, that one is. Okay. And, uh... Probably just locked. So this is insulated. There's insulation. Yep. You got sheetrock. You got electrical. It's ready for someone to come in and make it a third unit. Maybe owner occupy it. Um, that's what I always thought this this barn would be good for because it's three stories tall. So you could make your own house here and then have the two units help pay for your taxes and your insurance. It's a big unit. The windows have been boarded up. So you've got the door there, fully insulated with plastic. The kitchen used to be over here, I believe. Yep. So you've got your drains still over there. There's one, two windows here, two more here to the back, another window here. This was a bedroom. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then it walked through to, this was, the master bedroom. this was a master bedroom area. Then you have a bathroom over there, a closet. So there was a lot going on in this, in this uh, unit before it had its fire. Looks like that's where the fire happened. Yes. Was that from? Cell phone battery. A cell phone battery. Son of a gun. Yep. <laughs> yep. So not a lot of damage, but I bet there was a lot of smoke. And yep. that's why everything had to be cleaned out. But you've got good sized beams. And then you've got, the, you've got another floor above this. Uh, the heating system is down in the basement where we just came from for this unit. So it's ready. Outlets. It's ready. It's ready for someone to come and do their thing. Put laundry, an island in. Laundry's here. Laundry hookup. Bathroom was there. So everything's ready. You just need to come in and do it. So you could live here. And then rent out the other two apartments. Is there a way to get to the third floor? There is. Through that door? Excellent. This is the laundry room for the apartment upstairs. Okay, laundry room for, for the second floor apartment. I'm going to close this door. These people have been here for? Uh, it's probably <clears throat> three to four years. Three to four years. Can we go in the okay. basement? Sure, we'll go down in the basement. There should be power here, actually. You want to look for a switch right there? There we go. So 
know, a typical old basement, but good height. Looks like we've got newer water heaters. Yes, and a spare. And a spare. We've got some new heating ductwork. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that this owner has done. I think it looks like he did the roof, standing seam roof. Yep, I just had yep. this uh, He had the foam, spray foam, foam done. So he did things that people really don't see too much, that's, unfortunately, that's exactly and they're very out. expensive. And that's the walkout to yep. the backyard. Um, and uh, there's, you know, the, where the garage is and whatnot, so you can go right outside here. Yep. And then the garage that we first came into. So somebody's old couch. I'm sure, you know, unfortunately, tenants leave things. There's nothing you can do about it sometimes. They just leave it. <laughs> but it will go into a dumpster, I'm sure. So you've got brick on the walls in here. You've got two hot air heating systems here and lots of newer ductwork, definitely. That's not that's not the ductwork that he bought when he bought the place. Yep, and this heating system is new on the new in 2010. And the Thermopride's probably been here a while. They last forever. Yes, one of them was newly uh, we replaced it. And, yeah. Uh, it was in a home that was only a couple of years old. They switched. Yeah. The, they switched the propane, and so they made us take all the ductwork. Yeah. And went with it in the place. So, sure. So we have lots of extra ductwork. Lots of extra ductwork. The beams look good. Everything looks really good. You've got some monster ductwork over there. Holy cow. Yeah. It literally looks like a turbine. But yeah, and there's your oil tank, and then you've got some extra ductwork that came with the furnace. Yep. So everybody needs a little extra. I know that I just had a little bit of work done on my furnace. Went to Webb's and picked out probably seven pieces of pipe. Then it cost me $167. Piping is expensive, so having all this extra piping is always a good thing. Follow around. This is where all those panels are here. Oh, all the electric panels for the units are here. So this is enough. So this is okay. So this is your 100 amp that's coming from the garage, from the the barn into this panel here, and feeding these two panels. Okay, very good. And another oil tank for the first floor. Excellent. So it's brick and stone. Nice, nice basement to be able to work in. Lots of space, lots of room to get in and out. So this is an exterior wall where they put the new foam. And then also foam on that exterior wall also. All right. Yeah, this water heater is literally a week old. We just this, had it put in. This is one week old? Yeah. It's, it's Brand spanking new. And that's for which unit? The second floor. Second floor unit? Okay. All righty. Go up to the second floor first. Yeah, we'll go up to the barn. Oh, to the top of the barn. Yeah, yeah that's that's great space, I think. Actually, there's a right there. Yeah. yeah, this barn could make a really nice space for someone to live in. And then have the two rentals. So that door there goes to the second floor apartment. Yes. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was amazing space, yes, when I sold it to him. 
oh yeah, I would, <laughs> this would be the master bedroom and another bedroom. It's just a great space. Some of my research that they used to have a playhouse up here. I remember, I remember them saying that about this place when I sold this house to him. So this is just ready to have somebody come in and foam it, insulate it, put a couple windows in, and it will be a fabulous addition to the downstairs apartment that needs to be finished. Easy, easy to do. So you have plenty of space to live here and then also run the two apartments. It has a slate roof. This part of it has a slate roof and the other part has a standing, newer standing seam roof. And the slate roof was fixed a couple of years ago. Very difficult to find something that still does that. Then knows how to do it, right? <laughs> we can go down. Yeah, we'll go down okay. downstairs. Yeah, and slate will last forever. It does. So we're at the porch of the first floor apartment. They've been here for four years. Oh, these, she's nope. been here for 12 years? Oh, years? 12 years. She's been here for 12 years. So this is a good sized porch. Yes. There's lots of space. Definitely. You've got parking for at least, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least eight cars very easily. So going into the kitchen. Hi, hi, hi. I'm just doing a quick video and that yeah. will solve a lot of visitors coming. That's what I'm hoping. All so, right, well, welcome to my apartment. Yes, my name's Deb. My name is Jennifer. Oh, just like my daughter. Oh, how sweet. Okay. That is a good name. Yes, so. Light switch right to your left as you yeah. walk in. So it's laundry. Yeah, nice laundry space. Got some great pantry space lots of shelving excellent this is hot air heat so you've got your counter space so really great counter space and gas stove okay and we'll just... yeah i know the ceilings are high i remember that i remember that Okay, so we've got a little bedroom space, as cute as it can be. Okay, so windows, let me see, do we have newer windows or old windows? We have newer windows, the vinyl replacement windows. Little built-in hutch. Nice little bedroom. Wood floors. Two closets on either side going into the bathroom. Nice tenant, definitely nice and neat and tidy. And then we go into the living room. So, door out to the main hallway, and we've got lots of windows in this room, really nice. And these are all, I believe, also vinyl replacement windows, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, kitty. And the ceilings are nice. Got, uh, looks like somebody did sheetrock and then kind of trimmed it out, which is a nice way to deal with the old plaster. You've got, these are boards or paneling that's been painted. And then you've got this great big front bedroom. Very nice. Again, high ceilings. Yeah. Hot air. Oh, I know what that big pipe is too, the hot air return or the cold air return. That's actually an output. It, it actually puts heat out? That one is out. Oh, 
Oh, because that's where the big pipe is, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the out and the yeah. The cold air intake is actually located behind that bedroom. Oh, okay, because we saw that monster pipe down mm -hmm. in the basement, so that yeah. must be it. But there's the two okay. outputs in this room, uh -huh. and there's two outputs in this room. I don't know if you looked in here. Oh no, I didn't get into that room. There's actually a whole little office slash my guest room tucked uh -huh. away in here. Tucked away. And it has all this With beautiful shelving up here beds. too. Oh, I love it. The bunk beds and some shelving. Oh, yes. So when people come over, you got a place to put them. Yep. I, my best friend yeah. comes up from Georgia. So. Look at that. That's yes, very, it. very cute. So you've got one, two bedrooms. And plus, a half. And a half a bedroom. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And you've been here a long time. 12 years. You want to keep yeah. staying here, right? I love my apartment so much. Ceiling. Yeah, that ceiling looks nice. In the summer, wow. there are perennial beds around the outside of the house that the I have flowers. put in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen the flowers. I live, I used to live in Eagle Land. Oh. And uh, now I live in Grantham, but I sold, borrow this house. I thought this was a very, very cool house, especially the barn. I love the barn. Okay, so that's our tour of apartment number one, the first floor unit. We'll go up and see the second floor unit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good storage. Good parking. You can get behind the house and drive down to the garage. It's a good sized lot. You've got all kinds of space over on that side that belongs with this lot. Yep, those are all vinyl replacement windows on the first floor and the second floor it looks like. Okay, second floor unit. We can uh, look at the backyard real quick. We just have some more sun back here. Yeah, I saw that you put some uh, overhanging. Yeah. Yeah, that was long. Yeah. And you did the new some new lattice work on the porch. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. And that goes to the walkout, and it also go, goes to the back where you have the garage in the barn. So the upstairs, the third floor unit has this porch, or a second floor unit. Nice neighborhood. You're very close to downtown Newport. They have, a, they have a, in downtown Newport. They have a great on Fridays farmers market every week in the summer. Fabulous. The Opera House. When things get back to normal, there is a there is a downtown. It's a, it's a great downtown. This is the second floor unit, so we've got bedroom right from the start with three windows. Those are all re vinyl replacement windows. And we've got another bedroom. Good sized bedrooms, definitely. Nice. And you've got a good ceiling in here in the closet. It's over there and has a window in it. So there's a nice closet over there. It's great space. Fabulous space. Plus you got the old hardware and old woodwork. You got a nice round wall right here. This mm. is this is old architecture for sure. Love it. And then you've got the transit windows up above. Back in the day, Newport was an incredible town. It really was. 
so another bedroom so you walk in so there are three bedrooms in the upstairs unit and the ceiling again doesn't look too bad looks like it's doing okay mm-hmm you've got the hardwood floors and the wide mop board and the nice all the nice uh, trim then you come in you've got like a dining area with beadboard in a living room, a couple windows on each side, bathroom over here on this side, and have a shower, nice sized tub. kitchen oh it's got a pan I remember it's got a pantry too so this one's got a dishwasher the cupboards refrigerator more cabinets here nice and then this great big pantry area with the window where you have your stove and the ceilings look good in here This door goes to the barn or to the laundry room that's near the barn that we saw earlier. And then you have this room too, another bedroom space. So actually this one, they've taken the upstairs porch and turned it into a fourth bedroom. So really four bedrooms on the second floor, kitchen, living room, dining area, one bath, nice old woodwork. Nice old floors. And this is the end of our tour. And we thank the tenants very much. And we have an extended tour. Oh, we have. Oh, we got. Oh, I forgot about the attic. Yeah. Yes, we're going up one more flight this because the there's an attic. The attic. And yeah. the first is very nice. Yeah, no, I remember. Remember this attic? Oh yes. Oh yes. Attic, attic, attic. Forgotten all steps. about it. You yeah, had a little narrow step to the old days. Yeah. I know it. I know. I just walked sideways. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, I forgot all about this attic. Wow. Yeah. Let me get all the way up here. Got the old vinyl from the 40s on the floor. Little piece. Oh, yeah. So Varro the... did all this insulation work. Yeah. I think yep. this actually used to be living space up here. There was what? I think this was living space up here long ago. Oh. No, I know that none of this insulation was here when he bought it. Yeah, he did all this. This is this is awesome saves people so much money by just doing this insulation like this yep, I, yeah I've been down there, that's... yeah very that's very good and you got no wire no knob and tube that is showing i don't think there's any in the house if i remember right um yeah, yeah i think somebody had a finished room up there a long ago yeah yeah it looks like, well the vinyl yeah the, the old 40s vinyl right there. Good to put a floor down. And yeah, chimney doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Get a tar and wrapped up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, yeah. But this wouldn't be hard to do some finish work if you wanted to. Yeah. So full attic. Very cool. I'm going to leave it with the attic. And this 